Mike, talk time. Uh, all right. So, like, I'm not talking about, like, the near future. It's probably going to take a while. But, like, do you guys think that one day esports can get popular enough with the way our generation is, like, how how popular video games are in our generation that, like, one day esports could, like, reach, like, a Super Bowl level? I think it's definitely possible. It's possible. And how fucking awesome it would be. It'd be, it'd be tough to reach that because where the NFL is at, especially with the Super Bowl, is such like, it's literally like a yeah, holiday. Yeah, it's a holiday basically. Yeah. But I mean, you have like with the Overwatch League, you have actual professional teams owners mm-hmm. buying yeah. into these teams, so they see they, they do s- they like see consider a like growth just like in the past like five years like. Was esport like, even a word five years ago? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, like I, think, think like how cool it would be if there was just like set like thirty two set teams. That's what Overwatch game. is trying to do. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah Overwatch. So Overwatch was the first. Like, it is the first. Yeah, yeah well, it is to where they, do have, this they on actually scale. have, they have like, city, city names, teams. Right? Yeah, which I think is cool, and I would like to get behind. I just you guys, you two are way more into it, and Nick than me, or not even no, no Nick. Not Nick's not into it, but yeah, like, I definitely want to start playing it more. No, but watching, uh, like uh, streams, like I'm still not, and I I love this world that we're in, but I don't really like watching, like Twitch streaming, competitive gaming. I can appreciate it. Yeah, I just but, like it for when I'm like, like you know how you always have like background something going on. In the yeah, background. you like, always so have a I Twitch. Mean, it's it's usually, not like, something. It's the office, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm like doing something else, I'll have Twitch on instead of like a show. But like your question's really tough because yeah, that's kind of the, the Super Bowl. <laughs> like it's almost comical oh, that we don't have Mondays yeah. off yet after the Super Bowl, like nationally recognized because yeah. everyone yeah. watches it. But um, also I saw an article that I forget where it was. I think it was in Europe. But like one college started giving out scholarships for. Uh, I saw this. For, yeah, I think it's. I think it's. Well, it's in somewhere in the country. Yeah, it's League of Legends. But yeah, I mean, they there are for all these different games. There's universal university like leagues where different schools compete against each other. Whether it be like the game I'll never like Hearthstone and shit like that. Yeah, that not I, I've never card games. Into. But yeah, I mean, there's a movement going on. It's gonna take a while, I think. But this, see, but this they're, I mean, they're making strides. Obviously, if you have like Robert Kraft and yeah. the Wilpons from the Mets like buying teams, Robert California. <laughs> so it's it, it'll be interesting to see how fast or how slow it actually grows this is my thing now uh the podcast i listen to they talk about where uh games have evolved so much in like the past since like we were kids look at the graphics yeah but we really haven't the medium hasn't really evolved besides if you include, include vr like we haven't had a leap we went from 2D to 3D, and they were standard definition to high definition. And now basically all games are pretty much the same for the past almost 10 years. And the only change is like VR. So how would v- my question is like 10, like you're saying it's in time, is eSports going to take a war? Or video games going to go in X amount of years? Like I think Wait, VR is the next. What's after VR? Well, I'm saying like what's. Th- like- walk outside <laughs> yeah but i'm saying like yeah but what's next for games because I, that's the, the only thing that's going to be for esports through. because is vr in an esport doesn't work and i think vr is the future of games but how like or will it work is that basically ready player one or what I mean, the fuck well yeah that, I, like it's vr impossible with that. that fucking with that treadmill with the belt around you yeah and then the next thing is fucking robotic soldiers and Soldiers will use those to control them. But do we ever really believe that we're actually going to get that all in our homes? Or is that like 80 yeah. years away? No, I, I think it's definitely going to become more mainstream. VR is going to be more mainstream within the next like decade. I'm saying so probably. that's that's where esports are going to go. Or are we just still going to be playing uh, Call of know. Duty in 10 years? Like these games have Mother to change. Fire. It's all the same games. It's all shooting and shit, you know? Well, yeah, VR is probably going to have to be the next step. Like for everything to move, because uh, as I say a thousand times on the show, the podcast we're talking about uh, would Rocket League be the first one because that's one of the biggest games right now, and it's also the most accessible. Where you can give someone a controller who doesn't play games, and they won't be competent, but they could 
pretty quickly understand what this it's game so is. To watch too. Exactly. It's so easy to watch. And would that one break through the mainstream for people? Because I think Rocket yeah, League I mean, had a TBS thing or something. They have, yeah, they were on TV. They have a bit of a following going. But that really hasn't done anything. Like, it's not yeah. newsworthy. So if that didn't do it, what could possibly do it? That's my that's my argument. Because League does... I'm a fucking hardcore gamer and League does nothing for me. I don't Granted, know it's just not my niche. I don't think you've ever given it a shot, though. No, but I mean, I, I know Smite is a MOBA, and it's, it's. I feel like it's a lot more hardcore than Smite. The only thing, if if I League don't know, looked though. the same way as Smite, I would like it a lot more. Where it's third not person, the, the top down, and you're just constantly clicking everywhere. Yeah, like you actually control the person. But I guess it to to play devil advocate against myself. I was about to say, well, you really need to understand these games to be able to really enjoy them. But think about Super Bowl Sunday and how many people do you watch the Super Bowl with that don't even know what the fucking yeah, a first down is everything. and shit, yeah. you know? But we eventually got to the point where most people do. There's plenty of people I can name right now that fucking don't talk about football all year, but the second the Eagles made it into the Super Bowl, they're huge fans now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you? You're an Eagles fan? Now I am. <laughs> you're the worst. He's a, he's a fucking <laughs> Eagles fan, but he's a fucking he plays for the Giants drumline. I actually, you're I'm, you're I'm, fired. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Giants. <laughs> but really? bef- even before that, I didn't like them that okay. much. <laughs> Came from more of a Jets family. That's right. Yeah. So now I kind of want the Eagles to beat the Patriots. There you go. Oh, there you go. I mean, it makes sense. This is the only time I'm rooting for the Patriots. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was almost on the fence, but I was like, I simply can't do it. What? <laughs> I don't know why I, everyone. Just, I don't know why everyone hates the Patriots. But then, but then first I first of all, first of all, you can't be on the fence because we're gonna be still the only team that could fucking beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. I know. But you're rooting for the Eagles? No, I was on the fence for like you a second. Even Lord. the fact that you said you're on the. But fence. then I, the the biggest thing that I was like, all right, let Brady just win and fucking retire. I don't think you will, but just Wait, fucking win and retire. Isn't this going up after the Super Bowl? Oh yeah. So, yeah, we're recording this before the Super Bowl. But that's a week. This is going to post a week after. But do you not realize that Patriots are going to win the Super witnessed. Bowl 35 to 28? 28 is not a score that's, that's possible. Call. What did you say? Yeah, 28 is possible. I just wanted to see if you would have a reaction to that or not. <laughs> and uh, even if the Eagles do win, I changed my mind. 35, three more to th- rings than you. Yeah. 35 to 31. Patriots are winning. I hope it's 28 now. 35 31, high scoring game. I hope I don't even care for a good game. I hope it's that that Seattle Denver blowout against the. Eagles. Oh, I hate now. Nah, I, I, I want a good Super Bowl. Oh my god, I would love to see it just crush every Eagles. Oh yeah, that fan part, soul. Yeah. I just like a good game. the other thing I've learned to appreciate is I don't hate the Patriots because, I mean, the Giants have owned them twice, so I don't care. I don't hate them either. I just hate their coach. Yeah. The play, like Tom Brady's a fucking legend. Yeah, he's the best. Like, and not only that, like we're we're in the process of witnessing history, so we might as well just accept it and let it yeah. be as dope as possible. I think Kowski is a fucking man child, and I love him. <laughs> I think this sidebar is perfect though to get back on topic. Because are we ever going to talk about this about gamers? Like the way we just literally it's imp- sidetracked. It's, it's I don't... impossible to know. I guess I I just personally don't see myself ever doing it. I say that right now, but I don't really know what would turn me at this point. Like probably like you said, kids growing up and this being more normal because we didn't grow up in the East. I grew up in the football, so I liked football. But I I don't see I don't see it for a very long time at this point. Well, it, yeah, because it's the, there's no there's nothing there wasn't anything to root for. Like yeah, now, like oh well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That has the cities and everything. You can buy merch for like, your team. Do they, and do they have a New York team? Yeah. Like, that's fucking sick. They yeah. have a New York team, and it, the owner is the... The owners of that team are the owners of the uh, Mets, and they recruited a f- full-on Korean team. Yeah. <laughs> it's a team full of South Koreans. It was <laughs> already amazing. A, wasn't there already a scandal? Someone got booted out of the Texas team for well, he was homophobic he, slurs he, he in was, the game. And he threw the bird he was up. Taking or steroids for his fucking <laughs> hand <tendons>. steroids, <laughs> doping. That's, that's yeah. going to be the biggest thing for esports. Is that they're going to drug test him for Adderall? No, like the <laughs> like on Twitch and stuff. The it's not like the the chats and stuff are so trolly and like. 
the online communities for different things are so like toxic sometimes. Yeah. So it's going to be, that's going to be something that we'll probably have to get cleared up to, to reel more people in. It would be super interesting though. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm all, f- Hey, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah. No, I mean, I think especially now with like the whole, the NFL and the, the whole health thing, health of players, stuff like that. Like some people might actually turn to, well, now they're to bringing games. back the XFL or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. yeah, isn't that crazy? I that's they scheduled that for 2020. I I'd be shocked if it actually actually I don't, happens. I don't know how old he is right now, but I really hope Dwayne Johnson fucking goes in it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh god. So, All right. Um are no, we done with okay. that? I just wanted if you guys keep talking. I do you guys know the Go number birds. off the top of your head? Okay, here it goes. Uh the Twitch paid more than ninety million dollars to be able to exclusively stream the Overwatch League. Did you see that story? That's fucking crazy. That is crazy. That's a lot of fucking money. I just I wanted to bring I just wanted to close that. it with that. I guess it'll show. That they have Amazon money, so they don't they don't really have a problem yeah, with that. that. It's like whenever the Overwatch League is on, I mean Overwatch jumps to the to the front. Yeah, not surprising to the top so i mean there's people there's people watching it so that's good all right mike what'd you yeah, i think someone was saying like it actually it didn't even like what was it who is the one streamer that came back to league of legends tyler one i think so yeah yeah he had he had more viewers the day he came back than the overwatch league had <laughs> oh yeah oh. he was like a famed league player who was like he, I think he got banned because yeah, he was super he got trolly. For like two years or some shit. He so was like he came back super like, trolly with one people character. People that don't even watch League just came back to see his like return or some shit, and he had like a ridiculous amount of uh, viewers. <laughs> see, I'm like so out of this world that I don't even know. I only like I don't know. I think it was like ninety one thousand or some shit. Crazy. Thank you guys for watching or listening. Please subscribe to our channel. Go into the description of this video to like and follow our social media pages. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>